This presentation is part of a series to make you aware of the emergencies that could affect your installation or local community and the steps you can take to be ready. Earthquakes strike suddenly, violently, and without warning at any time of the year, day, or night. They can cause buildings and bridges to collapse, disrupt utility service, and sometimes trigger other natural disasters like landslides, avalanches, flash floods, fires, and tsunamis. Earthquakes and their aftershocks can leave entire regions in ruin within seconds. While most earthquakes are unfelt, several hundred earthquakes occur annually in the United States. 70 to 75 damaging earthquakes occur throughout the world each year and have produced some very deadly results. Where earthquakes have occurred in the past, they will happen again. Earthquakes are the sudden rapid shaking of the earth caused by the breaking and shifting of rock beneath the earth's surface. They can also be caused by volcanic activity, landslides, mine blasts, and high explosive and nuclear weapon testing. The intensity of earthquakes are measured by the Richter scale. The scale was developed to assign a single number to quantify the energy that's released during an earthquake. Ground movement during an earthquake is seldom the direct cause of death or injury. Most deaths result from collapsing walls, flying glass, and falling objects. Most injuries occur when people are hit by flying objects when entering or exiting a building. If you prepare and have a plan, taking action during and after an earthquake could save your life. Before an earthquake, fasten shelves securely to walls. Store breakable items in low closed cabinets with latches. Hang heavy items away from beds, couches, and anywhere people sit. Install flexible pipe fittings to minimize breakage of gas and water lines. Secure your water heater by strapping it to wall studs and bolting it to the floor. Store flammable products securely in closed cabinets with latches on bottom shelves. Choose a safe place in every room, for example, under a sturdy table or against an inside wall where nothing can fall on you. Having an established emergency supply kit and emergency plan will help you be prepared. Water is one of the most important items in your kit. Your kit needs to have enough water and non-perishable food for three days for each member of your family. And don't forget about your pets. You can survive for eight weeks without food, but only three to five days without water. Also, have a radio available so you can tune into local news broadcasts and gather important information. Remember to have extra batteries too. Make sure your first aid kit is sufficiently stocked to handle any medical emergency you may encounter. Some of these items can also be found in your home. Include special needs items such as prescription medications, eyeglasses, contact lens solution, or hearing aid batteries. A good resource for information is the Air Force's Be Ready mobile app. It has an emergency supply kit listing, important links, and contact information. It's an extremely useful tool to have on your mobile device. In the event that you are indoors during an earthquake, drop, cover, and hold on to something stable. Stay indoors until the shaking stops and only exit if it's safe to do so. Use the stairs instead of elevators. Avoid windows, exterior doors and walls, and anything that may fall. Stay in bed if the earthquake occurs at night and protect your head. Only use a doorway as a shelter if it's close to you and load bearing. If you're outdoors during an earthquake, move into the open, away from structures that may fall on you and stay there until the earthquake is over. If you happen to be in a vehicle, stop and remain in that vehicle. Avoid stopping near buildings, trees, overpasses, or utility lines. Once the earthquake stops, proceed with caution as the roadway may be damaged. In the event you are trapped in debris caused by an earthquake, do not use sources of flame and avoid moving or kicking up dust. You will want to cover your mouth and nose with fabric to avoid breathing in potentially harmful dust particles. Also, you'll want to make noise for the rescuers to find you. However, yelling is a last resort since you will likely breathe in large amounts of dust. After an earthquake, first determine if it's safe to move from your location. Check for injuries and provide first aid to those that need it. Proceed with caution since earthquake aftershocks can cause additional damage to already weakened buildings. Open cabinets or other storage areas cautiously since items inside have likely shifted. If you live near the coast, be watchful of tsunamis that may have been caused by the shaking. Your pets may have also been affected by an earthquake. Normally quiet and friendly cats and dogs may become aggressive or defensive. You should leash them and place them in a safe, fenced-in yard or travel crate if possible. Hopefully this information has helped you better prepare for what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. 
For more information, please take the time to visit your installation's Office of Emergency Management, the Be Ready website, download the Be Ready mobile app, or pick up an Air Force Emergency Preparedness Guide. This has been Corey DeBernia reporting for the Emergency Management Division of the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. Stay safe and be ready.